and barefoot. And there's dirt. There's cows. There's people all around. It's a village. It's a marketplace. In this place in India, do you feel that you have a body? Yes. All right. Take a look at your body. It's male. Mm-hmm. I have shorts on and a shirt, t-shirt. It's old. Mm-hmm. Looks like it was donated from the United States or something. How old are you there? I'm like seven or eight. Are you a boy? Yes. Okay. So I'd like for you to look at your hand. Emil. What is it? Emil. Emil is your name? Yes. Okay, Emil. Let's find out a little bit about your life. Take me to the place where you live. It's out in the country. Mm -hmm. And it's a thatched, like, hut type house. Look all around. What do you see around the house? It's kind of round shaped. Mm -hmm. Um, there's some, I think, air holes, but they're not windows. Mm -hmm. And my family lives in there. All right, take a walk inside of that house, Emil, and tell me what you see inside. It's just a kind of a rounded opening on the top, and you have to kind of bend down to go in. Mm -hmm. But then you can stand up, and it's tall. My father can stand up in there. And then we have mats for sleeping and blankets we roll up in the daytime. How many people are in that house with you? Four. Mm -hmm. Look around them and look in their eyes, the eyes of the window to the soul, Emil. Do you recognize any of those eyes in yes. a lifetime? Mm -hmm. My brother. My brother is... Pradi. Mm -hmm. Connect with him now. He's younger. Mm -hmm. I have to look out for him. Why is that, Emil? Because my parents are working. And there's no one to take care of us. Mm hmm. So we hang out in the marketplace where there's a lot of people, and sometimes we give food. Mm -hmm. How old is your brother? He's five. Mm -hmm. So you take care of him? Yeah. Very good. I, I just make sure he, he eats and drinks and has a bathroom and somewhere to go, and, and we play with whatever we can find. Mm -hmm. We like to kick things. Are you happy there? Yes, very. Very good. So, we're going to close the scene now, and I'd like for you to move ahead in time to another important event in your life, something that impacted your life. Be there. I got married. Mm -hmm. It was arranged. Tell me more. My father said I'll grow to love her. And it would be good for both our families. How do you feel about that? <clears throat> I'm fine with it because that's what we do. Mm -hmm. Is there anything important about this scene? The wedding is beautiful. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> She's beautiful in the wedding. Wonderful. Yeah. So let's close that scene now. Let's move forward to another time in that same lifetime that impacted your life. I'm in my 30s. Mm -hmm. And my wife was... I think she... I was going to say... She died during childbirth. And the baby too. And it was a boy. How is that making you feel? Because of the way I've been raised and what I know to be true. 
I know she goes on in the baby, but I physically hurt and miss them so much. Mm-hmm. And my mother says kind things to me to try to help me feel better. But then nothing was making me feel better. Mm-hmm. And so I sought out the yogis to see if they could help me. Mm-hmm. So I'd like for you to now close that scene and move forward to see how these yogis have impacted your life. They taught me and I became a yogi, a guru, Mm -hmm. a mystical being. I learned the secrets which now are not becoming secrets any longer. They taught me about the universe and the beings in it, everywhere, Mm -hmm. the Pleiades mostly, and their multiverses that connect like bubbles, Mm -hmm. like the flower of life. They all kind of intersect a little bit each other. And that's how come we can visit ourselves in another world, well, another universe at the same time. Mm-hmm. We can transport our thoughts there and see what's going on in that path of life and then come back to the original path that we're on. Mm-hmm. And they taught me how to do that, and they taught me, you know, how to leave my body and travel. And they taught me how to levitate. They taught me how to heal others. They taught me so many valuable things, information, and ways of being a whole person. Connecting my spirit with my body and my body with my spirit instead of thinking them as separate. That's why yogis can live to be in their hundreds because they merge them together. Mm-hmm. What did you do? Were you able to merge? Yes. Mm-hmm. So, Emil, how is it that you are affecting the lifetime now of Diane? I'm trying to guide her Mm -hmm. on this path of the Vedic text and Sanskrit because that will help her raise her vibration to a higher level and then she can be the guru that she once was because Mm -hmm. she still is. Mm -hmm. It's me. Yes. So I just need to bring it out in her and she'll be able to touch so many with just showing them some amazing gifts that they will understand about time and fractals and sacred geometry. The string theory and particles are alive Mm -hmm. and they have different facets as in sacred geometry like a dodecahedron Mm -hmm. or a tetragrammaton or a simple dodecahedron. And the most stable of all, of course, is the pyramid. Mm -hmm. So, Emil, are you ready today to be able to teach Diane some of this? Where would you like to begin first? What is the first lesson that you would like to teach her at this time? She needs to center herself. She she used her masculine energies that you were referring to earlier. Mm -hmm. 
and she needs to use those more than her feminine because then that will allow me to activate more DNA inside of her mm -hmm. that I had activated and will kind of merge because we're already all one anyway. Yes. But I mean, she has her body this lifetime. I had that body that lifetime, but we're all one. Mm -hmm. So she already has this information encoded in her. It just needs to be unlocked. And that's why most people who start to awaken or have gifts appear that knowing inside of them is actually real and it's not just a feeling they have it's that gut feeling mm -hmm. and it's true and you can always count on that but that's an ability and people don't even realize that that's an ability and they have so many that can be unlocked they just need to be taught because in the school systems here in America and others don't teach for us to be interdimensional beings they teach us to be a sheep mm -hmm. you just go with the flock you go with the flow you punch a clock you work you punch a clock you go home you eat tainted food and meat you watch the television you don't go into nature much and then you go to sleep and usually have to take a pill and then you get up in the morning and repeat the same rat race over and over and over and over and over and it was never meant to be that way mm -hmm. so today can we begin activating this within Diane the okay. Sun she mm -hmm. needs the Sun the Sun she was personally told by a doctor that her body has lupus and the Sun is bad for her so she's avoided it for almost two years mm -hmm. as much as possible but now with the upload that I'm going to give her today it will raise her vibration and she can be in the Sun all she needs is 15 minutes that's it full Sun mm -hmm. and the Sun will transmit the fractals of its energy like little packets into her system and be absorbed through her skin wonderful and those packets are they packets of information yes mm -hmm. they're everywhere they're, everywhere. they're floating everywhere everywhere in the air everywhere these packets of information are this is this where we get our thoughts from yes mm -hmm. so thoughts are just a stream of packets of information and the packets are fractal shapes mm -hmm. in sacred geometry and so we access this information that's how we access it mm -hmm. so in fact is are our thoughts our original thoughts at all they are for what you know mm -hmm. there there are you have your own thoughts because you have your sovereignty yes you discussed that earlier mm -hmm. your sovereignty is you for you to have your own thoughts it's through your sovereignty mm -hmm. when we give you ideas or thoughts not me I'm all mm -hmm. but higher beings than me that are on this planet the Sun gives off the most packets but other beings from ships or their home planet can send out packets too mm. as we're ready the packets that are here now floating are not the same ones that were here 200 years ago hmm. 
that's why we have growth. We had cavemen and then we had industrialism and now we have humanity the way it is. And so the packets are ideas, not your own thoughts, but they're like an aha moment mm -hmm. for a human. So yes, you have your own thoughts because of your sovereignty, but you can reach higher levels of mentality by acquiring these packets mm -hmm. of information. And the way to acquire them, besides the sun, is through meditation and simply asking the universe to deliver you information that will help you along your journey this lifetime. So is that why meditation is pushed so much by all of those? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Seven or eight years, nine years ago, Diane didn't even know what meditation was. Mm -hmm. And now she teaches it. So you say that these are the packets. Tell me a little bit about the quantum universe. How does that work? The string theory is the best way to explain it. Okay. With waves of energy. And as the energy travels through space, time, as it gets closer to its destination, it turns into a particle. Mm -hmm. And it's alive. Um, Does this particle have consciousness? Yes. Mm -hmm. For its sovereign self, because yeah. that particle wants to live and experience things, so that particle may become your liver mm -hmm. when you're being born. Or it may be an idea that you get when you're older, out of the blue. And you weren't even thinking of such a thing. But you were ready for that information. Mm -hmm. And it was, it's just literally, it's floating in the air. It's invisible, but it's there. And to attain it as a regular, just person with no abilities, learn meditation, and then you can learn how to absorb the packets. It's not like you reach out and grab them they have to be absorbed into you and you have to be ready to attain those so for those who want to be enlightened they just first of all have to be at they have to ask yes they have to put themselves into a state of allowing through meditation yes and then when they're ready they will get the right packets exactly okay so her question was how is it that these packets of information actually become physical like you said a liver like a particle because mm -hmm. it turns into a particle and the particle is programmed to be what it's going to be mm -hmm. like that particle could go to the heart and become a heart cell or a liver cell or a skin cell mm -hmm. and they go where they need to go to fill in the holes of the puzzle that's yeah. you mm -hmm. So like a puzzle piece would be a particle and it would click into place exactly where it's supposed to be and create the organ that it's supposed to create. Mm -hmm. These particles, can they also be used for healing existing organs? Definitely. In uh -huh. fact, some of them could be tainted mm -hmm. um, from other species of beings that want to manipulate humans. Mm-hmm. And unfortunately, that does happen, and people do absorb those packets not knowing. Um, but you have your sovereignty, and you can have those removed mm -hmm. by asking through meditation to have them removed. And then they'll feel it with golden light of God and heal it and then send another particle down mm -hmm. that will take, well, a wave 
Yes. A ray of from God's source, the golden light will come down and as it touches then it turns into a particle. It, it's almost like taking water and freezing it into ice instantly. Mm -hmm. That's what the wave and the particles like. The wave is like the liquid because it flows and then it freezes like hard like ice because it turns into a particle. Mm -hmm. But the particle particle has knowledge, not like ice. But ice does because it's water, and water has memories and has feelings too. So, just an ex example of the work that I do. There are many times when we need to do some work, and I actually visualize what's happening. I'll visualize a liver being healed, and with my intention. Is that bringing in the actual healing yes. particles? Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's almost a state of meditation. Yes. Yes. When we realign ourselves when we meditate, if yes. you do it correctly, mm -hmm. most people don't know how to meditate or they say they don't know how, but it's as simple as just sitting and staring in a white wall. Mm -hmm. That's just a few seconds of meditation. Meditation can be taking a shower, washing dishes, driving a car, doing repetitive things that you've done a thousand times, your consciousness shifts to another consciousness, mm -hmm. like being asleep or being awake. Yes. So during these hypnosis sessions, when we are doing visualizations of healing, we can or are calling in these particles? Yes. Okay, very good. So is this a way that we can actually teach people? Yes. Children, because she's very interested in teaching children these very abstract theories, which we're not taught in school now. Correct. Mm -hmm. She has tapped into that line, and it's amazing. Mm -hmm. She's going to be teaching next week a Reiki one-level class to middle school age children mm -hmm. and their parents, and spoon bending, which they've already done. And then they taught each other from what she taught them. Mm -hmm. Once she can show them, whether it's cloud busting or bending a spoon or just putting her hands on their head, above their head, mm -hmm. and them seeing the lights and the rays, it's her gift to be able to open them up mm -hmm. to another dimension of reality because the governments of the world want to keep everyone in this dull down manipulative construct mm -hmm. of punching clocks and driving home that's not how humanity was supposed to live mm -hmm. is humanity shifting more now Yes, very much so. Is it because the humanity wants the shift or something has happened? It's because something's happening. We're in a part of space that we have not been in in over 26,000 years, and everything's very much speeded up in this part of space. That's why you can ask for something, and it will happen instantly. Mm -hmm. Diane just experienced this a couple days ago. Mm -hmm. She yeah. was joking around about... The movers canceling to some teenage boys that were helping her move and she April fooled them late and they laughed and ten minutes later the moving company called and canceled mm -hmm. so it manifest almost immediately at this point mm -hmm. depending on your level of vibration yes and your density you can manifest things very quickly, especially children. If they want an ice cream cone, dad will show up with ice cream mm -hmm. and cones. Yes. They haven't lost the ability yet. No. Right. No, they do it instantly. It's insane how fast. It can even be a TV show mm -hmm. or a movie they want to see, and they just say it, and within minutes they'll find the channel and it'll be on. Mm -hmm. it, it's instantaneous. People don't understand that right now, and it, it's only because of the fear of not knowing and never being taught how to do these things. And it's because of the construct that, that they raised us in. 
in the school system and even the private schools um, and also homeschooling um, due to the fact that not all but a lot of the homeschoolers are Christian based mm -hmm. so therefore they're influenced they're not open open-minded mm -hmm. um, enough to be able to break past the barriers that man created with the laws of religion and even taking Jesus's word from the Bible and disconstruing it mm -hmm. and misplacing how the letters were written from Paul and the apostles and even Jesus is misquoted in there and I don't want to offend anyone but it's almost like a comic book mm -hmm. were they all teaching this information they learned from Jesus because Jesus went around mm -hmm. the years that he was supposedly lost yes he wasn't lost he was learning from basically yogis gurus um, other men of the cloth you could say yes and they were able to teach him the abilities of healing of the molecules molecules and waves and all that is where reality is and exists um, he had to learn that he learned kind of like how I learned mm -hmm. from the gurus he went and visited those kind of people that knew things and they were able to teach him and then that's why when he finally came back and he healed leprosy and blindness and all these wonderful things he did and then when he he said you will do what I do and even greater things it's true mm -hmm. that's why people like Diane and others can do these things and they just want to help others learn how to do them too so that suffering can start to end because once enough sheep are awake they can trample the fox mm -hmm. that's watching them mm -hmm. and that's what needs to happen with our governments she asks about the fractal universe Yes. Can you talk about that? We live in a hologram in this universe and all of the universes. They're all holograms of what could happen if you make a decision. And in all the other multiverses, you're making other decisions to see how they're going to play out that's why you're not people use the word fractured and like you're a piece of views in this dimension a piece of you is in that universe a piece of you is in the other universe and it's not true your your whole being is in that universe as your whole being is in this universe you're never split apart and shattered now there are certain minds of humans that have schizophrenia and mental illnesses and that's due to the alignment of their fractals in their brains mm -hmm. and their glands in their brains not secreting the correct amount like a person that has insulin issues mm -hmm. they need to take shots some people need medication to replace the hormones that are not secreted by their brains and it's not a bad thing it's just the way that their human body was created because no one is supposed to be perfect no one is mm -hmm. so therefore 
You are in all dimensions. You're in all time. All time is one. All time is now. So when Diane came in here and wanted to know about 30 years from now, how this earth will be, how she will be, her diet, things like that. What do you say to her? Yes, everything's changing. She's, mm -hmm. she already has it figured out and knows she just needs it verified. Mm -hmm. And it's coming from her old teachings from when she was me. Mm -hmm. And it's all about diet, the air you breathe, the water you drink, the minerals you take into your body. Mm -hmm. um, that is what creates a healthy body. A healthy mind is created through meditation and opening your mind to greater things. Things meaning knowing that we're not alone. Knowing that there are extraterrestrials walking beside us, working with us. There's many races and there can be differences in skin colors or feathers or skin can be thicker mm -hmm. like a snake or a reptilian there's many 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 different kinds of beings so just because we're human beings it just is a separation mm -hmm. from the one and we're all the one. We are the other races too. Mm -hmm. We've all had a lifetime to evolve from being, say, a draconian mm -hmm. or a reptilian. And that's why we have the anger that we have inside of us that comes from the reptilian part of our brain. And then as we've evolved, and some are still not evolved all the way like we would wish they were for the big ascension. We want as many as we can to be able to experience the future of what Diane's looking for. Mm -hmm. And that is peace on earth, heaven on earth. We can bring heaven to earth. We have to truly want it. You have to want it. You have to be pure of heart. You have to have low ego. You, you have to just be a good person. Mm -hmm. Love one another. That's it. That is the key. Unconditional love for yourself first and then for your children and your mate and for your family and for humanity is to show kind, unconditional love every day. How is humanity doing at this time? It's waking up. Mm -hmm. The earth is pulsing. Everything's speeding up. We had to do it according to plan. We couldn't have went back to 1960 and handed them an iPhone. Mm -hmm. They would have not had a clue. So we started with a big bulky brick or the one with the cord that looked like a telephone mm -hmm. so that you could handle the idea of being able to use it in a car from far away because you were so used to pay phones and mm -hmm. things like that. So that's a good example to say that we can't just give you all the knowledge at once mm -hmm. about all the beings and stuff because we don't want to upset you, frighten you. And most of you are so ready for this. It's just the older generations that are holding it back from happening. But by the end of this year, there will be products on the market that use zero point energy. Zero point energy, if you don't know, is like the electricity in the air when you rub your feet on the carpet and you shock something the electricity's always been in the air you just created it to make it come alive the electricity is always in the air 
and it can be harnessed. And the first few products that will come out will be things that can charge small items like your cell phone or batteries. And then they'll create larger until we actually have zero point energy everywhere in the world. And that way, places that don't have water and there's tribes living there and they don't have electricity, all they'll need is this one shoebox size machine and it will pull energy from out of the air and create energy for them. Mm -hmm. And then they can have pumps on their wells and it's only going to help like those people. They're living off the land. So the technology that we can give to them through Zero Point will help them raise their vibration, raise their DNA, raise their consciousness because they're still living kind of like an, like an animal, you know, off the land, no technology. They're just surviving mm -hmm. and they need to do more than just survive because we were put here to have experiences, not to just survive, not to punch a clock, just to pay bills. We shouldn't even be paying bills. So her question was, what will she be eating 30 years from now? Will her body be changing to the point where she won't need food? It already is in that process. Okay. And 30 years is too long for her, for she will ascend before that. Okay. But liquids and algae, chlorophyll, mm -hmm. um, is what people need to start going towards and getting away from all animal meat, anything from an animal we're not supposed to have. No meat, no dairy. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Butter, nothing. Mm -hmm. We were never meant to have that. So that was created out of desperation. People were starving back then. They needed to slaughter animals to mm -hmm. survive. They needed the milk to drink. They needed that. All they had was water, mm -hmm. which is all we need. But they thought that they needed more. And then they learned how to make butter, sour cream. They learned how to do things with the milk rather than just it be milk. Mm. And uh, you said that there's going to be more technology, this zero point energy. Yes. What would our transportation be looking like using this? There will be no more diesel. There will be no more oil. There mm -hmm. will be no more carbon emissions. It's going to all be zero point energy. Um, they got to start us out slow like they are now with the cards that we charge with electricity. Mm -hmm. That's how they will be charged, but it'll be zero point electricity rather than coming from a nuclear power source. Mm -hmm. Nuclear power sources need to be shut down. All of them. Is that in the works? It's a fight on both sides, mm -hmm. the dark and the light. The light's going to win. They already are. Mm -hmm. And the dark still has a few s tricks up their sleeve, but they're, they're not going to win. And they know it now because too much of humanity is waking up and realizing that we're on a little rat race. We're just in that little hamster wheel mm -hmm. and we're tired of it now. We can't do it anymore. There's so much more to our being than what we think there is. Can you tell me a little bit about these DNA upgrades that Diane is receiving and others are receiving? What's going on with our DNA? Yes, so the 12 strand that you have and the garbage junk DNA, they call it, mm -hmm. um, is what is being activated and woken up. Um, it, every time you receive the fractal package. That's what comes into your body and it upgrades your DNA, which makes you smarter so that your brain can grasp ideas 
that you could have never understood 10 years before this. Mm -hmm. And then you're able to grow and vibrate higher. Vibrating higher is what humanity needs to reach. Meditation is the easiest way and cleaning up your diet is the easiest way. And meditation is not hard. Binaural beats. Put those on with your little ear covers and therefore you'll be able to not hear what you call the monkey chatter in your brain. Mm -hmm. And you will only be able to concentrate on one thing and that is nothingness mm -hmm. and through nothingness is everything so in this state are we actually activating the dna or does it happen during sleep how is this dna activated it depends on the person and mm -hmm. their vibration level yes um if they are of okay if they are just waking up mm -hmm. we'll do it at night okay and that way they receive the downloads that way um the high-pitched squealing in your ear don't listen to a doctor that's a modem that's a download <laughs> yes mm -hmm. that's a download you're getting so just breathe through it don't wish it away because you're not quite sure what it is you right. hear it and you rub your ear and shake it but it's honestly a transmission mm -hmm. and your body's just going to receive it it's a a tone of vibration mm -hmm. that's why it's going to raise your vibration so when you receive these dna downloads there's different ways to do it for the ones who are not awake we only give them what they can handle and and give them the packets of information but the dna waking up is not just a packet it's more of a ray like a like string theory mm -hmm. it, it's not a particle it's a ray it's a ray and it comes into your body through the top of your head and that's when you're getting an upgrade uh, so you're actually hearing it or is that different no there's the the b and then there is the light. Mm -hmm. um, Pradi has a picture of himself receiving the light. I'll have to post that. Mm -hmm. That's what you, it just happened to be caught in a picture mm -hmm. because your cameras can now pick up the orbs mm. and you can blow them up and you can actually see faces in them mm. and beings and people want to call it dust it's so funny to us so the l ones that are waking up we can give the pitch tone to mm -hmm. and then the ones that are awake they can still receive the tone. Everyone can still receive the tone from that point up in vibration, but it's more of the DNA waking up. The tone in your ear is what you hear, but there's tones that we don't hear. And so it's like a ray. So the ray comes in through the top of your head and goes down your spinal column and it just starts affecting your DNA and it wakes up like the next level mm -hmm. or the next little package of dna the the junk dna the the one level of dna it will wake up that portion of dna which will turn on other abilities in your physical body whether you had dyslexia maybe that's the packet in your dna that you'll get that will reverse your dyslexia mm -hmm. if you're more of a spiritual type person then you will get an upgrade of his spiritual experience to be able to do more spiritual abilities, uh, to be able to teach more people that it it's all inside of us and we just have to help it grow. And we have to teach each other 
because the governments aren't going to teach us. Mm -hmm. And it's just ancient knowledge. Ancient knowledge. American Indians know it. Um, Africans know it. Aborigines from Australia know it. Japanese knows it. Chinese. Um, all, all of ancient races, India, all the ancient races know of this. Since America was the new world, they thought they would change it and organize it into an industrial type machine. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what America became. And we did evil things to get to that point as a human race. Now, since we understand now that we're getting upgrades in DNA, why is it that Diane has not been able to heal some things in her? For example, the migraines. To heal other things on herself, mm -hmm. she can, like a sore knee yes. or a stub toe through Reiki, mm -hmm. energy zero point healing. She's pulling the energy from zero point and using that and also from source itself slash God. Yes. Um, however, she needs to go through some of these struggles so that she can understand dis ease mm -hmm. so that she can help others when they come to her with what they consider disease. Mm -hmm. And she can explain them that it's dis ease and help them transmute the negative energy that's in them into light. Mm -hmm. And that is what raises their vibration, heals them, and raises them higher up. No, we're all equal. We're all the same. We're identical. It's just some of us vibrate faster than others. <clears throat> through having an open mind is what helps because mm -hmm. it's a physical body. Your spirit already knows everything. You have to allow the body and the spirit to become one. They have to align. So once the body aligns, will it be able to heal and heal others? Yes. Okay. So getting back to her migraines, why has she not been able to pull that energy into her brain into her mind whatever it is that's causing that that pain in there what is that there's multiple reasons that's why it's taking me so long I'm sorry it's okay. She was struck in the head mm -hmm. with a rock, a large rock. Mm -hmm. She was a woman at the time in that lifetime. Yes. And she'd been a victim from childhood on and used. And this lifetime, she had events happen to her when she was younger. And, and as a 20 year old too, um, that were negative and she holds that female quality from that lifetime and always has and that's why she's had them since she was little because it came through with her into this lifetime mm -hmm. and it started from her being a woman and getting struck in the back of the head and now they happen whenever she gets tensed or stressed or any kind of a scared or terrifying emotion. Mm -hmm. And she may hold it inside and not show it outside to her husband and children, mm -hmm. but she will hold it inside and then that grows and creates stress and trauma to the body and creates the migraines. If she wants the migraines to go away, she has to be like a screen door and let things flow through her mm -hmm. just be a screen door and let everything flow through you rather than holding on to it holding on to past memories that are hurtful from this current lifetime 
to memories of yesterday that she might have done something and hurt someone and didn't realize it because when she does go out she tries to be so good and help so many people with braces on their knees or a brace on their hand if they're a cashier Mm -hmm. and she'll give them reiki and it helps them so much and so by doing that she helps raise their vibration and open their minds a little more but as soon as she leaves some of the sheep go back to sleep Mm -hmm. because it's disbelievable you know how can you believe it you know how could this strange woman walk up to me and ask me if I'm in pain and then put her hands near me and then the pain goes numb Mm -hmm. and they're dumbfounded they don't know what to think so her her migraines and their the dis dis eases that she has in her body are all current for what she's on on her path and they will be healed through yogic techniques and vedic and chanting sanskrit Mm -hmm. will she be doing that or will she be getting assistance from others for that others uh pradeep Mm -hmm. is her friend and he is a yogi guru and he can help her align so that she can be a more perfect channel for other beings to channel through because there's so much that needs to be said and there's so few channels out there that are true channels Mm -hmm. that can take the back seat that can put their ego down and let us come through so that humanity can grow faster due to the part of space that you're in right now because everything is happening so much faster if you took a person that passed away in the 1960s and brought them to today they would be lost they would think they're on another planet Mm -hmm. so in 30 years from now it will be the same thing like she asked there will be so much more technology and so much more easiness on the body Mm -hmm. that sickness will fade away with the older generations Mm -hmm. and people will become more enlightened and we're hoping at this time that it won't be like Atlantis where they got bored and they used their powers in ways they shouldn't have so they were at the same stage that we are now They were much farther advanced. Mm -hmm. They were already past the fast part of space. And that's why they got bored because Mm -hmm. they quit getting. You can always receive the packets of information in the fractals. However, you get addicted to the speed of this part of space. Mm -hmm. It would be like us going back to a manual typewriter from our phones Mm -hmm. and typing. It just doesn't make sense, you know, Mm -hmm. so they got bored because they were already slowing down Because the earth makes like a oval shape Mm -hmm. Trajectory Mm -hmm. (laughs) around and Once they Atlantis passed through the fastness and they were able to create things and crystals are so important People don't have any idea about crystals. I mean, there are people that do, but the majority of humanity does not know the value of crystals and what crystal healing can do. And just by having them around you and in your home, I'm sorry, I diverted because crystals are an important thing. Can you tell me about those crystals? Yes. Everyone should have a quartz crystal in their home. If that's all you can have, have one quartz crystal cleanse it there's multiple ways under a full moon is one and the simplest others you can bury in the ground and dig back up others you can soak in salt water some will dissolve in salt water Mm -hmm. so the moon is the best a full moon 
And besides the quartz crystal, having a tourmaline crystal or a selenite crystal or three. Those are the three most important. And then next would be amethyst mm -hmm. and pink quartz. Those are very beautiful crystals with good vibrations that will heal and give unconditional love. And the selenite will recharge and cleanse and clear all of the other crystals mm -hmm. because that's what its job is. Pink quartz is for love and amethyst is for healing and clear quartz is a go-to. It can do all of the above and more. So if you don't have the other ones, you can have the clear quartz? Yes, mm -hmm. but you'll need to cleanse it with since you won't have the selenite. Yeah. You'll need to cleanse it more often, clear it, and program it. People don't know. They go pick them up and buy them because they're pretty, mm -hmm. but they don't realize they need to cleanse them themselves with their energy mm -hmm. and the moon. First the moon and then their energy by holding it. And then they can program it by sitting and meditating with it and telling it what they needed to do. If they needed to heal a certain part of their body, they would get amethyst and charge it with ameth you know, charge the amethyst with the healing energy of I need my liver healed. Mm -hmm. I need my knee healed. Um, you can actually take tape and tape them to your body. You can wear them in a pouch around your neck. You can put them in your pocket, in your change purse. You can put them in the floorboard of your car, in between your mattresses and your pillowcase. As long as they're near you, they're working. What happens when one of these shatters? It's fine. It's meant to be. Mm -hmm. And if you lose one, it's meant to be. Mm -hmm. You're done with that one. Either you used up all of the energy that it had to offer mm -hmm. and it needs to go back to the earth to rejuvenate. And then you just go and get yourself another one. Okay, good. So it's okay if they break or disappear. Mm -hmm. They're meant to. They have their own consciousness. Good. Is this something that Diane could use to heal herself? Yes. Mm -hmm. She started already. All right. So what do you recommend for her personal healing? Selenite. Mm -hmm. Just selenite. Because that will pull out any of the negativity that she picks up. Mm -hmm. Good. And what about her, her food for her sustenance and her body? Very limited. Mm -hmm. She's at a point now of she's not fasting. She's not trying to fast. Her body is ready for this. Mm -hmm. um, next step. And that is just for nutrition mm -hmm. to keep the cells with nutrition. And she can do that with the highly potent vitamins that have supplements with the vegetables mm -hmm. and the fruits. And then by having the algae mm -hmm. and lots of spring water or high pH reverse osmosis water. Yes. So this is the best water for her to drink. Yes. Is that good water for everyone to drink? Yes. Okay. Yes. So how do you get spring water if you're in the middle of the city? Then you would go and get the reverse osmosis mm -hmm. with high pH at you have stores that you can purchase these in mm -hmm. that carry healthy foods. Mm -hmm. Good. One of the things that happens to Diane is that she's always off balance and seems to fall. Right now she's dealing with her knee in which she fell the other day. What's going on with her? Trying to accomplish too much on her own mm -hmm. without help from others mm -hmm. and not seeking out enough help she did seek out help for moving but she needed more and she thought she could do it herself because mm -hmm. she feels better because of her what she thought was diseases and the 26 pills 
that the physicians had her on from her accepting the fact that marijuana is not a drug like her brothers and sisters used mm -hmm. or friends in high school and she had a negative feeling about it to now she understands that it's just like an herb like white willow bark mm -hmm. is aspirin you they made it from that then and that's all it is is a plant however the corporations took it over bare aspirin is chemicals mm -hmm. it's not supposed to be that way so if one has white willow bark it's going to do the same thing it's aspirin mm -hmm. but it won't hurt the body no okay so how can she heal that knee right now honey mm -hmm. Calangela. She knows how to make this tincture. Mm -hmm. And there's various ways. But this one's a salve. Calangela frankincense beeswax. Honey. And frankincense that all need to be mixed together mm -hmm. and then just put on the wound and it will heal all right very good oh she could also add a few drops of dragon's blood okay that's not from a dragon it's from a bark tree <laughs> I figured that now has, where has she had this experience before she has she had past lives where she was actually making this she was a root worker. Okay. Has she investigated this life before? No, never. Can you tell her about this life? Oh my goodness, yes. I'm going to leave a meal mm -hmm. and go to my higher self. All right, very good. The meal was amazing. Mm hmm Hello, Albert. It's so nice to see you again. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having us. So she's interested in all of these lives that are affecting her now, where she's pulling in the information and how she could help other people. We've talked to Emil for a while, knowing that she connected with that lifetime and she's able to pull that information from the yogis. But what about the other things that she's doing? She wants to be able to help people be able to help children from the bottom up learn about the the intricacies of the universe. She's already on her path doing this. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> she just wants it to speed up faster mm. because she's always in a hurry and that's why she falls. That's right. Her balance, she's got to find balance yes. in her spirituality and her family and in people, humanity, mm -hmm. and animals, um, because she wants to help so much, and she has so much to offer and give and help people elevate just by being in her presence. Mm -hmm. And then if they're able to take the time to listen to her, mm -hmm. they'll understand what she's saying. It can be a stranger in a parking lot and she approaches them because they have a brace on mm -hmm. and she asks them, are you in pain? And she tries to heal them and she does. She numbs out their pain, but it's up to the individual's sovereignty to realize that they think Diane made that pain go away. Mm -hmm. They expect it to come back once they're away from Diane. Mm -hmm. So it will come back. So it's their belief system. Yes. Mm -hmm. Silly belief system people have. It would be so nice if everyone would just wake up and realize what's happening right now. Mm -hmm. Because the window for this is still going to go on over the next 50 to 100 years. 
of the speeding up of technology Mm -hmm. and the body and the DNA process because we're trying to make the harvest for ascension the largest that we've ever been able to do and do it correctly without having to destroy the planet and start over. Uh, the planet is Gaia and she is alive and she is well aware of everything I'm saying and what is going on with her Mm -hmm. very well. She is the mother of mothers and she knows what we're doing and she sees the light workers and she sees general people trying to be good people, pay their bills on time, go to work, be on time, be helpful to their co-workers, be kind to them, and listen to them, and share with them. So people on an everyday, which is that rat race, or the hamster on the wheel, it's okay to be that hamster on the wheel. Not, not everyone can elevate in this lifetime. You have to elevate, picture a hoop Mm -hmm. and a skein of yarn. And every time you take this skein of yarn and you wrap it around the hoop, that's a lifetime. Mm -hmm. And you keep living another lifetime is another circle around the hoop with the yarn. And until you can get all the way around and everybody's hoops are different sizes because each lifetime you come in, with a different size hoop because you may have either grown in knowledge or you may have went down in knowledge by what you did that lifetime. Mm -hmm. Either, you know, alcohol, drugs, violence, rape, all of that will bring your level back down. And so your hoop may be bigger to put your yarn around, but as you become enlightened, your hoop becomes the size of a quarter. And then once you're on that last lifetime, you're ready to ascend Mm -hmm. and go back to source. It's not like dying, dying. You go back to source, you go to God. But this time, that last time is when you can go wherever you want. You can go back to your home planet, your star system. You can go back to another dimension You can go back to just source and be in unconditional love. But that gets boring, believe it or not, after a while. And you want to come back down here so you can learn more lessons so that you can grow. Most lifetimes we grow. Some we recede, but most we grow. So in this lifetime right now that we're living, how how far away are we from this ascension? We're on the cusp. <laughs> it's already happening. 2012, 2000 is when it really, well, you can go back to the 50s. Mm-hmm. Roswell. Yes. That starts the whole explanation right there mm-hmm. for humanity. And all of the humans that were in the area that saw it with their own eyes. They were paid to keep quiet Mm -hmm. or be killed. So therefore, the alien technologies that we have today, Velcro, LED lighting, the new material that's out with the diamonds in it, Diane's husband and her picked out a bed, and it's made from this material. Mm -hmm. And this material was found inside ships. Mm. Um i know i've gotten off topic there's just so much to say where are we you say the cusp of ascension everybody is waiting for it to happen tomorrow okay so 2000 okay so 50s is when the cat was out of the bag Mm -hmm. the government shoved the cat back in the bag Mm -hmm. tied the bag really tight underground in the underground facilities yes should we go there you tell me should we go there or? Well, it'll be a few minutes, All but right. then we can divert. But okay. you'll have to remind me of what we were talking about. Okay, that's good. Let's talk about those underground facilities now. Okay. 
They're, th- they're everywhere. Mm-hmm. They're in every state. They go through every state. Their main hubs, uh, there's one in Texas. I'm not sure exactly where. There's one um, at Broom Lake in California, and there's one at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. From the knowledge that I'm allowed to have for now is Wright-Patterson is where everything's taking place. They want you to think it's Broom Lake, which is Area 51. That's why they created Area 51 as a diversion from Wright-Patterson Base, Mm -hmm. Air Force Base. Underneath there are multiple levels dug down into the earth. And there are shuttles there and fast trains. It's all for different types of beings. The ones that we have use Skylar scalar energy and vibration in the beginning to pull and force the crafts down is what happened at Roswell. Mm -hmm. We already had some technology to be able to do that. And then we were able to bring down other ships. And as we bring those down, we take the technology and reverse it. We also will dissect the dead beings that are on the craft. And we will also take the suffering ones and the live ones back to the base. And some require special environments, not like ours. Some need different gases in the air. Some are liquefied and need to be kept in a certain temperature to stay solid, or they will liquefy and like we we die our bodies die that's what will happen to their body um and there's plenty of human beings working down in these bases underground it's a Wright patterson air force base but then there's different bases on each level of knowledge Mm -hmm. and not everyone's allowed to know everything um uh, you have to have different levels of, uh, what is it called? Is it clearance? Yes, 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 mm-hmm. that. Um, for that. Because they need to know how much your brain can handle, and they need to know without going psychotic, and they need to know that you're not going to talk about it. Mm-hmm. And they test you constantly. They'll test you with other employees. They'll test you with your wife. They hear everything. They have the ability and have had the ability to catch all vibrations leaving the planet. We could actually hear Martin Luther King's speech again, live from him as it's fractalized out into space in a wave. And they can capture it and replay it. Mm -hmm. That's how they knew what Hitler had planned in advance and others. So who was capturing this information? Well, different governments have their own ops Mm -hmm. programs. Mm -hmm. And America has their own dirty secrets. And they won't let us know, Mm -hmm. the average person. That's why we have the military. And soon we will have the Space Force. Um, It's already being talked about now and the word being thrown around in public so that people get used to the idea. It's already in place and already happening, and it has been for a long time, but it wasn't discussed. Mm -hmm. And the space shuttle was taking things up that needed to go up there for that purpose, but then they found an easier way. So that's why they shut down the shuttle program, Mm. and that's why they made the explosion happen They made the explosion happen to scare people Mm. to not go into space because of the school teacher. Yes. I I wasn't going to say the school teacher because I didn't want to hurt anyone's feelings about her passing and all of that crew from the Challenger. But they did that to scare humanity back in to being a sheep Mm -hmm. because we were starting to explore. We were starting to see things from the shuttle, but 
But the shuttle was also seeing things, the people that worked on it. Mm -hmm. They were seeing the other ships and stuff. They were seeing all this, but they couldn't report it back. And if they did, they did it on a private channel. But a lot of the people, mostly men, that have that radio, mm -hmm. ham radio, yes, they use. And they could hear the truth. Mm -hmm. But there are few of them. And who's going to believe them? Mm -hmm. You know? Yes. Only whistleblowers and insiders can get stuff out that's believable. Mm -hmm. And even then they plant stuff in their minds to railroad them mm -hmm. and discredit them. Now, one of the concerns that Diane had was, what about all of these extraterrestrials that are being held there against their will? What is she... What should she feel about this? What should she think about this? Is there any way that they can be helped? The compassion that she has for these beings is so great. It, I, I just, I won't even make her cry because she already knows the mm -hmm. solar plexus, the stomach, everything's being affected right now mm -hmm. because she, these beings, either they're beat into submission or withheld things that they need. Mm hmm into submission to give us technology. So they're being tortured. Some are. Mm -hmm. And then there's others that know that they're not going to ever make it back to their home planet. It would be as if we crashed on their planet mm -hmm. and we knew we were never going to make it back. So it's kind of like go with the flow. Yes. And that's what they do. And so they know more about other beings than we do sometimes, and they can help us know what kind of environment they need to be kept in. And they also help us in dissecting them correctly mm -hmm. because it can be done incorrectly and the, the being will dissolve. Yeah. And then we won't have any knowledge of that being at all. Mm -hmm. um, it's not retrievable. And so... Um, so they're helping teach us also. Yeah. Uh, so why is she so connected with them? Is she picking up from them? Yes. Mm -hmm. What kind of connection does she have with them? She's able to communicate with us. Mm -hmm. And we are able to telepathically communicate with her. Mm -hmm. And she's just a very easy channel. Her, She's very clear and she's easy to contact and always has been since she was a child. Mm -hmm. And that's why we came to her when she was smaller. So when you first came through and said you were her higher self, are we speaking with a different one now? Yes, you are. Yes. I was waiting for you oh, to ask. She was going to tell you. No, I figured it uh, out. Arcturians. <laughs> the yes. Arcturians. Yes. So these Arcturians that were teaching her the different colors when she was five years old? Yes. Okay. So why is it that the Arcturians have a connection with Diane. Is she one of them? She thought she was, uh -huh. but she's not. She was confused, uh -huh. just simply confused yes. because she wasn't even understanding how she can work with them. Mm -hmm. Amazed her. Yes. It would anybody and freak them out and shock them. But Diane just goes with the flow and she allowed us to show her what good we can do. And that's why we labeled her our soul ambassador mm -hmm. so that she could bring other souls up so that we can crystalline their chakra system and upgrade them mm -hmm. more and in a faster pace than they're already doing. Like we said before or her higher self said so before, mm -hmm. and we know it too. The greater the harvest, the greater it will be for everyone, mm -hmm. you know. So as an Arcturian, why are you here now during this ascension period? Helping, mm -hmm. helping with the ascension, helping Diane upgrade herself so that she's able to help more and more and more people. She's helped thousands already mm -hmm. and she wants to help on a higher platform. Mm -hmm. She wants to be able to get up and talk to others that are curious about these ideas. Mm -hmm. And then once she's done, have open questions so that 
they can truly understand before they leave the auditorium what a wave and a particle is mm -hmm. that we're not solid we're like screen doors and she wants to be able to give them a healing it's not from her none of this is diane mm -hmm. diane is like a instrument for us that we're using and some of us not necessarily arcturians but other beings that have used her throughout her life because she did not have her control of her life she was letting life control her she was letting the universe make her decisions not the other way around and everyone needs to know that you need to make your own decisions and your sovereignty and you need to be your authentic self and you need to pronunciate what it is that you need mm -hmm. want is another thing need in your life if it's love if it's finances if it's healing if it's learning then that's what you can do you can seek out these things and learn and that's what she wants to do is just help wave her energy around and waken other people up so they are not having to fall in the cracks or or lean towards alcoholism because they have these abilities or they're able to see things and they're afraid to tell other people so they suppress it by getting drunk mm -hmm. or alternatives and maybe they may tell their best friend but that's it and they need to learn how to do more and that's how everyone will eventually learn how like Atlantis did but we don't want it to be like Atlantis <laughs> they got too big-headed yes. they, they needed to calm down and they they were too greedy but your race is also greedy but not as they were mm. they looked at themselves as gods themselves and they weren't we're we're all a part of what you want to call God or source or the great divine we're all a part of that mm -hmm. that's what we are but the great divine needed us to have a vessel to be in mm -hmm. a water bottle a garbage bag a piece of meat that we're in so that our souls could travel and communicate with others if we just came as souls that's what we we would just stay at that level of knowledge mm -hmm. we have to come in these vehicles to fall down like diane did and bust her knee open and learn the lesson not to carry and overwork herself like she did mm -hmm. and she's learned that lesson now she doesn't like to ask for help at all mm -hmm. she's kind of like it's, me she's a nurse she can yes. do everything herself yep. and take care of everybody and that's just and the mother in her but her her spiritual self now is evolving to a point so high that she ne needs to be like a guru she needs to be an american guru mm -hmm. and then she can teach others about us because we are an enigma to the human race mm -hmm. you know they do not understand us they do not understand that we are part of them and they're part of us they do not understand that we are unconditional love there are races of us not octarian but other races that do have detrimental harm that they want to cause to humans but it's due to how do i say it they are vastly knowledgeable and intelligent but when it comes to their heart chakra it's so small mm -hmm. that they don't have compassion for humanity so therefore they're allowed by the governments to come here and to do things that they shouldn't do mostly abductions mm -hmm. um, that are were not pre-planned and there are pre-planned abductions that the governments have arranged with other beings for knowledge hitler did this hitler gave up a lot of his own people so that he could have knowledge the draconians gave him the knowledge of a flying saucer but the draconians are very tricky 
they didn't give him the rest of the information. So therefore, if a bullet was to hit a flying saucer, it would be like, I think it's inertia. It would just keep going mm. and going and going with the bullet mm, okay. and going. They didn't give him the information on how to control the vehicles. Oh, okay, good. Or he would have won the war. Yeah. They didn't want him to win the war. Mm. They didn't want one person to have that much control. They wanted to make sure that they had control too. I see. Now I'd like to digress back to something that you said that seems really important. And it is that about need and want. Yes. Is this where we create our, and we manifest through need? Because, for example, Diane right now wants to go to this foundation, the Kevala Foundation. She wants to make it happen, but there's not enough money. How do we manifest as humans? Because right now we're manifesting very quickly. How do we manifest from need? Is this part of the quantum universe? That is such a good question. I'm so happy you asked that. And it's very intense and deep. Humanity in some parts is ready for this to happen. In other parts, it's still wrapped up with the Kardashians mm -hmm. and worrying about North Korea and worrying about Russia. All of that is man-made caused confusion, chaos. It's not meant to be. Once everyone is just calm and they know that their needs will be met. They will be met. Mm -hmm. Verbalizing them out loud during a meditation is a great way because you're putting a tone out mm -hmm. to vibrate into the universe for source, God, other beings to answer that and come back with what you need. Wants are the Kardashians. Mm -hmm. That's all want. Want is not a... It's a human trait, but it's not a good one. Mm -hmm. And the industries feed off in corporations is the correct word. Mm -hmm. It started out as industrialism, but it turned into corporations. Corp yeah. So corporations are what run the world mm -hmm. and they're run by men, mostly some women. And then, and when I say men, I mean humans. Mm -hmm. Um, and then the, it's broken down even farther to like the, at least 13 families, the wealthiest families in the world. And then it goes down to even the ones like the top three that are the most strongest. Mm -hmm. And then they're the ones who decide what we're going to do for the next 10 years or so, or the next year, what we're going to release to the human public, mm -hmm. you know, the cell phones, beepers, pagers, all that stuff from the days, you know, back in the days, all of that technology, we wouldn't have known what to do with in the fifties and sixties in the nineties and eighties and seventies pagers were the big thing. Then cell phones, we have to like spoon feed everyone at their level. That hoop she talked about, some people may only have gone around it three times. Other people are at the middle of the hoop and people like Diane are at the end of the hoop. And it's like, it depends on where you're at mm -hmm. in your lifetimes and what you've learned and gathered and what you've incorporated and what you've gotten rid of and repelled and where it's like the Buddha under the Bodhi tree. You just sit there in, in bliss mm -hmm. and in peace and you ask for your needs and they will be met almost instantaneously. Mm -hmm. If not a few hours, Yes, I rarely doubt a day unless it's a big event like Diane wanting to go to the Kevala Foundation mm -hmm. in India. You know, that's an expensive plane ticket and food and she's never been out of the country. So she's got to get a passport and her husband. 
husband has to take off time. It's like a puzzle. She has to put all the pieces into place for it to happen. And it will happen. And she's doing so by expressing it now out to us mm -hmm. so that we can help her by returning to her what she needs to have, to be able to have the funding to go to Kevala. So she will. It's all a process mm -hmm. and everything. You can't run. You have to crawl. Mm -hmm. You have to learn to sit up first. Yes. And that's kind of where she is. And that's where other people are. You know, they may be sitting, trying to rock on their knees and hands to go. And that's just another way of elevating their consciousness from an infant. Mm -hmm. And that's what they need to do as adults. You have to stop living for a few minutes in your day. You have to stop living in the world that man and governments have created. And you need to be in nature or in a safe place. Place that you feel safe in your home and listen to your heartbeat mm -hmm. and that will tell you what you need not what you want and then through meditation you ask for what your needs are once you're clear with what your needs are mm -hmm. and separate them from your wants because your ego is going to want everything yes and you can't fit everything in your home. You don't need it. <laughs> All you need is this physical body and some nourishment for it. And eventually, we'll just need the sun's energy, the central sun's energy, to help our bodies live. Whereas now, we're still converting from carbon to crystalline. And that's why Diane's allowed to reduce her food intake to such a minimal thing and live off of supplements and water because she's learning to go back to nature and to center herself and only need what she needs and not have the access mm -hmm. excess of things because she can get the access to them but she doesn't need it and that's teaching her to be more humble mm -hmm. So, getting back to the question about the quantum universe, are we actually, with our thoughts, creating this manifestation? That is correct. So, how does that work, where she can explain it to a child? We create our universe around us. Uh, we'll call it a morphogenic field. Mm -hmm. And in that morphogenic field, you create starting from a child and definitely as a teenager because teenagers are all about themselves. Mm -hmm. They create that field really strong and hormones help to create this field around you. And it goes out about six feet and you can make it go out bigger once you learn how to handle it, but it's energy and it's not the packets per se, but it's just your energy, your zero point energy, your toroidal field. Mm -hmm. If you picture a donut and you imagine me taking strings and putting them inside and then going up and around and then back inside and up and around, that is what a toroidal field looks like. Mm -hmm. It just goes up in and around constantly so it's going in and absorbing the information that your body has then it's going out into the universe and gathering what you need and bringing it back down it's an ever in never ending cycle of going out getting what you need and bringing it back to you so if you're a negative person and you're putting out negative ideas and thoughts and feelings that's what you're going to get back mm -hmm. i'm sorry that's what you're going to get back so everything that you put out is what's going to come back. Mm -hmm. Diane had to learn that the hard way, the really hard way. But that's okay because she needed to be that way. She needed to go to the lowest point that a human can, and that's being homeless and not feeling loved. Mm -hmm. And she did feel that way for a while. And then she got back up on her feet 
And now she's able to share her love with everyone Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, true love, unconditional love with everyone and wants to help everyone. But so therefore the morphogenic field around us is what we thrive on and it has a zero point energy in it. And that's what we live off of. Um, it's like homeostasis, keeping your heart beating at the nice rhythm, keeping your breathing at a nice rhythm. That's when your body is in alignment. It's called homeostasis. It's a medical term. It just means everything is flowing the way it's supposed to. And it's it's like symbiotic. It's just the way it's supposed to be. And when you get in this field and everything's flowing, and you're being positive, that's when things manifest. From the 50s, -hmm. that's when the knowledge started. In 2000, that's when everything was released. Like, it's almost like a bomb went off. Mm -hmm. We didn't feel it. That whole day, I walked around, me and friends like me, walked around and waited to see like a glitch in time, you know, or like stoplights didn't work or the bag boy at the grocery store put the bottle in twice in the bag. You know, we were all looking for these crazy signs up in Tennessee, me and my friends. And the whole day went by and we all talked to each other that night and no one saw anything. But there was like a bomb going off and we just did. We were looking the wrong way. We were looking for tangible things. Mm-hmm. You know, it wasn't tangible. It was energetic. Mm-hmm. And it started in 2000 and everybody was like, ha ha, all those woo woo people made up 2000. Nothing happened. It really did. Things changed. We were ready for that fast part of space. Otherwise, we would have been destroyed through mm-hmm. tsunamis, through hurricanes, through uh, sand pit holes, mm-hmm. sinkholes. You know, there would have been the volcanoes going off. All that's happened since 2000 because instead of it happening all at one time and destroying the earth to recreate it again, what it did was it slow, it realized humanity really was ready and we're there. We're just so close to having full access to knowledge, all knowledge that they they wanted to help us. The, the Octurians, the, 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 the the Pleiades, the, the Venusians, all of the, the different, the star systems from the boots. I mean, just every, everywhere wanted to help us. So they're only allowed to do so much to help us. And then they have to back off because our governments will get upset and they have treaties that they've signed, but they, the draconians and the lower vibrational heart chakras beings, they're the ones who usually break the treaties and come and take more people than they should Mm -hmm. that our governments have agreed to uh, for the technology. Um, So just to make it clear, stopping you there, we are actually giving away some of our humans. Yes. To always have been. Okay. Are these people that have been known to be missing? A lot of them are the ones who um, are traveling on the roads Mm -hmm. and don't have a lot of family and they're not expected anywhere. Okay. Uh, Some of them are military Mm -hmm. people that say go missing in action. Yes. Yeah. They're not missing in action. Okay. Um, Some of them are abducted children that they make it look like the other parent took them Mm -hmm. and they really didn't. Some of them are in national parks. Um, When people wander off, get a little lost. We're right there. Well, they're right there and they, Beam them up, Scotty. Mm -hmm. I don't know how else to say it. It's sad and it shouldn't happen. It's bad and we don't have control of that. And only until your human race awakens can they take control back over the earth from these families and from these corporations. Mm -hmm. And once they can do that, then they can continue to grow in a spiritual way and earth can become heaven on earth. Okay. Now we hear about the new earth, a term that's been used for a while. It's more of a uh, new age word. Can you tell me what is really happening? Yes. Okay. So 
There's different thoughts of belief, and I don't blame anyone for not believing me and wanting to believe in their own belief. Yes. Of, like, two separate Earths apart from each other. Mm -hmm. But really, it's Gaia, the soul, Mother Earth, and then on top are vibrations of layers. And those are the densities. Mm -hmm. um, the lower vibrations are where you would see the darker entities and shadow people and that kind of thing. Um, the higher the vibration, the higher the entity. Um, uh, a vibration above ours is one of fairies and gnomes hmm. and beings like that that are already here on Earth and have been on Earth longer than we have. And they're just in a... They're in a higher... They're just vibrating faster, like a propane like a pro prop on an airplane okay and you're staring at it and it's still mm. you know it's there it turns on and pretend there's a glass soundproof wall around us and we can't hear it or feel it but there's a rubber glove we can stick our hand through and we can push the box towards the the propeller when it disappears are you going to put your hand in that glove and stick it there and get it chopped off or are you going to be smart enough to know that there's energy there and it's moving? I can't see it, but it's there. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to stick my hand in to get it cut off to find out. Because I'd rather take that energy, harness it, and learn how to use it for something. And once humans start to realize that, then they can start evolving higher. And then they'll start seeing fairies, gnomes, any of the creatures of the woods that have always been there and will always be there, then you're kind of lifting off of Mother Gaia and you're going up to a higher vibration. But you're still, I mean, I'm making it like you're lifting up two or three inches off the earth, but you're really still on the same ground. But everything around you is vibrating faster. Mm -hmm. So that's one dimension. And then the second dimension is layered on top of that. And it's vibrating faster than the one that the gnomes were on. And Bigfoot. Mm -hmm. Even that. Everybody wants to think there's no Bigfoot. There been, is. Been there, done that. Yep. So, yep. That vibration <laughs> is carrying the next highest level. Mm -hmm. And then the next highest level. And the next highest. Until you reach ascension. Mm -hmm. And then you don't. you can go where you want. You don't have to keep coming through the hoop like a piece of yarn mm -hmm. and repeating and learning and growing because you will have experienced all of the things that you can, that you have, that the source wants you to. Uh, you're complete. And then you can go on and just be. Be what you want to be. If you want to come back as a human, you can come back as a human. If you want to be an extraterrestrial, you go back to that home. Or you can just be with unconditional love with source itself so why is it that they say that the new earth looks so different because it does everything is speeded up faster mm. everything is more beautiful the colors are out of our visual spectrum that we have now mm -hmm. and they're in the ultraviolet and in the infrared and we can see those colors because we're speeded up faster in vibration mm -hmm. because their vibration yeah. and you can't see it if like the propeller, you can't see it once it's vibrating so fast and moving. And so therefore, once we acclimate ourselves to a higher vibration through diet, through water, through meditation, through kindness, through love, unconditional love, that's when we can vibrate up to a higher dimension. Mm -hmm. And that's what the new world is, the new world, the fifth dimension. It's going in a higher dimension, you know, so that you can see these things. You know, it, it was funny in fifth grade when the teacher drew a dot on the board and said, this is the first dimension, but it doesn't exist. But there's a dot on the board. And then she drew a dot in a line and she said, that's the second dimension, but it doesn't exist either. But yet there was a dot and a line on the board. And then she showed us the third dimension. And then she drew the dot and a line and another dot. And she said, this is the dimension we're in. And 
I just thought it was so crazy because then what are the others? How do we pretend they don't exist? Mm -hmm. But they do exist. And that's just where the lower life forms and energies are, is on the lower dimensions. The ones in fifth grade that the teacher teaches you about and says they don't exist, they do exist. But see, that's programming. Mm -hmm. And that's what the government wants. Public schools, even private schools do it too. Homeschooling. It's all human nature to follow that path because that's what the governments have laid out for you. Once humanity realizes that you're not run by the government and you start taking in your own, uh, your own ability, your own sovereignty, your, mm -hmm. you realize you're your own self and you have this morphogenic field around you that will protect you from the lower levels and you raise your vibration, then you're able to see into these new worlds and these other universes through meditation is how I go to the other universes. Um, I haven't been able to do it awake, but I can do it in meditation and visit myself in other dimensions, mm -hmm. um, other, other worlds, but they're, they're all right here, just layered on top of each other. So when Diane came here, she, wanted to know about these past lives that were affecting her now. We already saw the life where she was the brother of Pradi. Is that correct? Yes. And then we saw this other one where she actually used the roots. Correct? Yes. Yes. She was is, a root worker. Root worker. Is there anything else that is affecting her now? Yeah. This is... This is Angelica. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello, Angelica. Hi. How are you? I am her angel, mm -hmm. her guardian angel. Thank you. There's a bunch here. of us, but I'm the head one. <laughs> <laughs> how much, how big is her team? Oh, she has about five of us. Okay. What is your role in her life? Um, <clears throat> I'm like her unconditional love, mm. her angel, her mother. She described me in the other video with you. Mm -hmm. um, and it is, is she's so kind. She talks about how beautiful I am. <laughs> and that's so sweet of her. But that was the next world that she described. The flowers and all the different colors and smells. And the gazebo with me. And, and she also, when she came into the gazebo, she saw herself sitting with me, but she couldn't hear us. So she got into that body and she could hear us because we were talking telepathically. Mm -hmm. And then after a little while, she was understanding what we were talking about. And then she came out of that body and stayed in the body. And a third part of her came out and watched us. And she always thought that was so crazy. <laughs> and then she went back into her body and she could hear us again. And then she had to leave because her body was waking up. Her physical body was waking up. So as she left, she had all this enormous knowledge that I gave her. But usually you all forget mm -hmm. by the time you wake up or you just had an assemblance of maybe what happened. Yes. But for her, she got up. And she knew what happened was incredible. And she had some of the knowledge still at her fingertips in her mind, but it was fading. And so she quickly summed up into two words, everything that she learned from this incredible being, which is me, Angelica. And it was unconditional love. Mm -hmm. And that is it. That is all we need as human beings is to show each other unconditional love. If you're thirsty and I have water or I know another person that has water, I will get you water. Mm -hmm. If you are hungry, I will get you food. I will, it will happen. That's how, I mean, it's a need, not a want. Yes. And we go back to that story again, mm -hmm. you know, and, and the bubble around us, the morphogenic bubble, it, it knows what we need for our bodies. We watch advertising on TV and go to Wendy's and McDonald's. I still can't believe people go there nowadays. 
But they go there and they get this poisonous food and put in their bodies. It's tainted with so many things. It's not even food. It's mm-hmm. not real food. It, it's mashed up, mancerated, just garbage that they produce, mass produce. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't have to be that way. So the field, the morphogenic field, because that was really important, is to know that when you request something, either verbally or you write it and then like burn it so it can go off into the universe mm-hmm. so that we all up here can hear it, what your needs are. We want to fulfill your needs. We don't want you to have to suffer without. And so your needs will be met. Now your wants are another thing, and that's human creation. Um, we've evolved so much that there's no wants. Mm-hmm. We want you to get to that level. Yes. If we want something, we want you to get to that level of not wanting. So when a, a human is in need to just get themselves together, health-wise, financially, um, in any way, relationships, and they they need something, they need love, they need help um, stabilizing their finances, how is the best way for them to ask for their angelic team to help them with that? They need to sit down in their safe place or nature. Mm-hmm. They can listen to binaural beats. Yes. It's on your YouTube mm-hmm. and it's free with the ear covers. Mm-hmm. That vibration of the binaural beats, preferably without music, mm-hmm. just the s- perfection of, of the beat will put their brain in a state that they can push out other thoughts, push out other noises and voices in their mind, and then allow us to come through and give them unconditional love. If they need love, if they need food, we will program it so that they will go and stumble upon a food shelter or a lady like Diane driving down the street will pull over, buy food, and take it to the person, Mm -hmm. you know, your needs will be met. You just have to request for them. Yes. People don't think it's that easy and Mm -hmm. it truly is. Mm -hmm. Or if you're embarrassed to talk out loud, then write it down and burn it and let it go up into the atmosphere and the universe because we'll receive it. And we know your intention is good because you took the time to verbalize it. You took the time to put it together in your head to say it or write it Mm -hmm. and that is profound whereas simple things every day I need a paper clip and you're in your car and you don't have a paper clip Mm -hmm. you'll get to the office eventually and you'll get a paper clip Mm -hmm. that's a a want you don't need that paper clip in the car it's a want you'll get it eventually wants are eventually Mm -hmm. they're not meant to happen you're not going to be a millionaire overnight. Yes, there are people that have done that. Mm-hmm. But that's not what everybody's meant to be. And it's not even really what you want to be once you realize your spiritual self and you find that that is what's whole mm-hmm. and that's what needs to be filled and filled with unconditional love of yourself and from others. And the way you get unconditional love from others is giving it to them. Mm-hmm. And when you find a partner or a friend and you feel that vibe and it's not unconditional you'll know that it's fake Mm -hmm. and that that's a friend that you keep at a distance yes and you have a human friendship with them but you keep them at a distance because you don't want them affecting your morphogenic field Mm -hmm. as much as they could because when you have that kind of person around that's nagging and whining and complaining all the time it's bringing your vibration down And it's not helping you at all Mm -hmm. unless you take your field and protect it. And you can do that too by using rays. And there is a platinum ray that is very strong. Although I know platinum, the metal is very weak. Mm -hmm. But the ray is extremely strong. And if you can permeate your 
morphogenic field with that color ray of platinum, mm -hmm. it will seal it and make it like an iron fortress. It's not meant to be that way all the time. That's only when you're in, a, in an uncomfortable situation or around people that are of low vibration and are affecting you. Mm -hmm. If you're around people of low vibration, sometimes it's good to stay open so that you can raise them up and you don't have to protect yourself. But if you are not sure what you're doing and you're not sure what your energy is, then you need to protect it. And the platinum shield works and you just see liquid platinum all around mm. and sealing you in and making you safe. So your field has a lot of jobs to do and it's always moving and working and dealing with other things that you don't even see, you know, and that's why you can physically get diseases mm. is because of the things that you don't see that get in and you mm. can't protect yourself from. And you were probably pre-written on the, your path to absorb that negativity and it manifests as an ulcer or a hiatal hernia mm -hmm. or um, gastritis yeah. um, because usually our digestive system is what's affected more than our muscular system although you would think it would be the muscular system because we tense up but long term it's our digestive system that handles everything and keeps us healthy um, Therefore, taking in all the negative foods and the dead animal meat is just bringing you down and it's not making you lighter. The lighter you are physically and the light, not, not on a scale, on a chart, mm -hmm. the lighter you are on the chart, that you grow on the chart, the lighter your vibration is, the lighter you become. And then... It's a play on words. The lighter you become, the more light you give off. Ah, okay, good. And therefore, her umbrella she talks about opening with light coming out, mm -hmm. you can make that umbrella so much larger with the more light you can hold. And it, some upgrades can be f physically painful. Mm -hmm. And the light, you know, is strong. So you may feel either super energized and can't sleep at night and you're awake at 3.30 every morning yeah. and can't go back to sleep. Meditate. That's the perfect time to put on binaural beats and meditate because the message is because you'll still be in a different consciousness. You'll be in between consciousnesses. You'll be between the awake and the asleep. And that consciousness is the one that you want because that's the one that can pick up things and you're alert enough to remember them okay. rather than being in a deep state trance you know and so when you're awakened in the middle of the night it's a good time for you to just pause sit back relax and absorb yeah. the programming right yeah okay. or sit up crisscross yeah. applesauce and that way your back is straight and aligned and your chakra column is yes. because we have like clear tubes inside of us they're like mm -hmm. invisible and that's how the energy comes in through the top chakra and then down mm -hmm. into our, it's like runs along our spinal column. There's a couple different invisible pipes, tubes that we have inside of us that doctors can't see with an MRI or mm -hmm. cut us open and see because they're energy, they're electrical, they're energy. And um, like the nerve is electrical, you know, and you touch that with a scalpel and it hurts. It, these tubes though they don't have feeling they're just there to hold the energy that you receive like if you receive reiki it's an art form of japanese art form of healing and sensei yusui is the one who discovered it on a 21 day meditation he on the last day he was given the symbols to use and he was taught what they mean and how to use them and it was supposed to only stay in japan but a lady talked with him, one of his aspirants, and she talked him into letting it go around the world, that it needed to not be just Japan that could heal around the world needed it. So then he allowed it to cross over the water and, and be brought to other places. 
um, so that a typical American person can learn this rare art form of Japanese healing and be able to heal themselves, heal their family, heal others. Mm -hmm. So we have all these amazing things that are coming our way. Mm -hmm. You know, the zero point energy and everyone waking up and raising their vibrations. And and the ones that, that aren't, that's okay. You know, don't worry about them because they'll come back again with that yarn in the hoop and they'll come back to the dimension of the level of earth that they're supposed to be at. They'll come back down to the 3D earth. That's the one that we're currently in. Um, however, we really, the fourth is kind of a skip over because that's kind of like the astral plane mm -hmm. where like souls go to hang out. Yes, we don't want that. Yeah. And, and there's earthbound souls too. And they're the ones that cause the most havoc. So, so and, fourth dimension is kind of like a CD bar. Yes. <laughs> yes. And then the fifth. That's where it turns back into mm. the amazing earth with the okay. colors we've never seen, the smells mm. we've never smelt, and there's just nothing but harmony and peace and flow. Flow is the key word. Be a screen door. Don't get angry. Let it throw through you the, the words that people say that may hurt you. You're a screen door. Just let them breeze through you and don't hold on to that energy. It, it will only cause you more harm. And like I said, usually the intestines are affected first and we have to take care of the diet first and then the body will heal itself mm -hmm. from these diseases because the gut is so important to the human body. Wonderful. Oh, that's why the Mediterranean diet is so healthy for people. Mm -hmm. And they figured red wine, you know, from Italy, all that was... A healthy diet and the Indian diets a healthy diet Mo any vegan diets and grain diets are healthy diets as long as they're not from Monsanto okay so organic uh, non non US grains yes okay good uh, one more thing that I'm curious about is the colors that she sees when she does Reiki what are the symbols that she is seeing in that what is why is it that she sees these colors it is a pure blessing that she's able to do that. Mm -hmm. Others can do it. She's not met one yet that can. It comes from a higher level dimension. As you said earlier, before we started, they're the colors of the rainbow. Mm -hmm. All of those energies rays hold so much energy of that certain color so when she does her version of reiki to people they see these colors they may not see them all and some of them may see none because of their vibration level mm -hmm. but the ones who can see them it will help upgrade their dna and raise their vibration at the same time because the rays can seep in and raise the DNA. And she thought they were like archangels and angels and they represented that certain color of ray. Mm -hmm. And maybe the higher the color, the stronger the vibration. Whereas like red would be low and mm -hmm. purple would be high. And that is true. <laughs> but, um, They don't come from the angels per se. They come from source itself. And they, source itself knows what they, the person that she's giving the energy to, needs to receive. Mm -hmm. And those vibrations are all different. So they're different colors. And they're colors outside our spectrum. But they can be seen through this process. But not yet. She hasn't reached that yet. She's only just now getting people to see all seven before they could only see three or four mm -hmm. in the beginning. And now she's up to seven. So once she's able to assimilate the seven rays with a large number of people, then we will give her more. It's spoon feeding. We will give her more of ultraviolet or UV rays that she can see and they will be able to see and receive that download. 
because she has to receive the download first. When will she be receiving that download? When she spends her time in the sun like she's supposed to okay. on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. Every day for 15 minutes, she needs to pick a time and make sure she does. And even if she's out running errands and stuff, that time does not count. Mm. It has to be meant okay. for that purpose. Is that the same for everybody? It should be. Mm. It's up to them. They have their sovereignty. Okay. But they really should spend 15 minutes of quietness alone outside in the sun. If they can get near a tree and have some shade, that's fine. Mm -hmm. They are still going to receive what they need. They don't have to be in the direct sunlight, although that is best. They Some can't handle the heat, especially here in Florida. So they can go under a tree and they will still receive the energy through the leaves and the trees. And they will also receive the earth. It's grounding. Mm -hmm. And since you're in Florida, the beach is the best place to go. There are parks with trees and things. And if you're called to that, go to that. But the beach and sitting silently, just watching the waves and that mesmerizing of the waves mm -hmm. will help. That's like a binaural beat all in itself. And if you can get that tune and just sit there and just be aligned, you'll receive what you're supposed to receive. Again, it's the needs, not the wants. But that's when you're putting it out. When you're receiving for that 15 minutes, that's all you're doing. You clear everything and you just be. You just be a perfect channel to receive. And that's all you tell yourself. I am a perfect being. I am a perfect channel. I can receive these 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 energies mm -hmm. and just be and you will and once you've received a certain amount of level then your vibration will raise it raises every time but I mean it's not going to happen overnight mm -hmm. nothing's meant to be that way except the rainbow body and that even takes practice mm -hmm. but it's just sitting in the sun 15 minutes every day with no expectations with nothing just sit in nothingness mm -hmm. and I know that's so hard for the human race to do but it can be done if you really want it to be done it will be done great. there's people that are ready for it and people that are not great what's the next step for Diane maintaining her healthy diet appropriate amount of perfect water for her and attuning this body into wellness and, and attuning it to its tune. Mm -hmm. Once it finds its perfect tune, its, its vibration, its sound, wave, then everything will fall into place. Then the puzzle pieces will just simply fit together, just fall right together. And then she will become like an ascended being, but on earth. Mm -hmm. And she will be able to heal by distance mm -hmm. or by touch or just by hovering her hand above the person. Mm -hmm. She's already doing this, but it will be on a greater level, hmm. a much greater expanded level. And she's doing the work and she just has to keep doing the work. Like she always has. First it was meditation, learning how to meditate. And now this is just another step in her progress, which she's already begun. And she's proud of herself for. She's lost 80 pounds. Mm -hmm. And um, she's never hungry. Uh, if she starts to feel hungry, she will eat um, food, fruit, you know, vegetables, um, juices, water, uh, some breads, um, and then once she immediately feels that fullness within a couple bites, she stops mm -hmm. and lets her stomach rest because she's already exceeded, you know, hamburgers and bacon and cows and mm -hmm. all that. She, she's more into roots and 
and vegetables and things in the ground, mm-hmm. you know, like carrots and beets and just yucca roots, you know, um, real natural, positive energy flowing food, a hydroponic food mm-hmm. she has mm-hmm. ex- access to, and um, and she's going to start to grow her own. Great. And she's got to clean up her daughter and husband's diets too. Mm-hmm. And they're following in her footsteps. They see what she's doing. And the gut, like I said, was so important. Once people realize what they're putting into their bodies, they'll see and they will understand. There is a, they love to watch television. There is a show on what is called Netflix. Mm -hmm. There's multiple shows on what your government does to you Mm -hmm. through food. You should watch them and learn from them and eat correctly and drink correctly. The water that comes out of your sink and your bathtub is water that has been regenerated and regenerated through the toilet to the cleaning facility and then back into your spigot Mm -hmm. where you drink from. So how can that trapped? It's almost like a person. Water is like a person. It has feelings and emotions. Mm -hmm. How would you feel if you were trapped forever in this vicious cycle of pipes? Mm -hmm. Never ending. Uh, It's horrible. So what can we do to our water so we can bathe and not, and release Outside showers. Mm. Oh, that's good in Florida, but not in Michigan. No, not in Michigan. <laughs> Florida. Diane mm. usually bases everything in Florida. Mm-hmm. Uh, wipes. Mm. Wiping the body. Dry brushing the body so mm-hmm. that we bring the lymphatic system mm-hmm. back up so that we don't have this swelling in our joints and in our, our extensions and our joints and our extremities. Mm-hmm. And... Um, That's what you need to do to align yourself. Back to Diane, though. She doesn't even realize it. She's been walking around so confused and lost and out of balance. This meeting, the first time she sat with you, Mm -hmm. she got a lot of good answers. It was amazing. But she said, I will see you again. (laughs) And she did. And this appointment was moved five or six times. Yes. But she got here, and you're here, Mm -hmm. so we're able to do this. And this is so amazing for you, Alba. Thank you for not letting her go because she's so afraid you were going to get so booked up and you were going to have to cancel her. Mm -hmm. That's why she had such anxiety about it, Mm -hmm. because she knew what she had to say was going to be so important to others. And I know it's supposed to be based on Diane, but it is because she's the channel. She's the one that's going to be able to help other humans raise their levels it's just she's got to continue on herself and then once she's able to see these other colors then other people will see them and the more people she works with and touches and it only takes 20 minutes at the most and that's pushing it it can be two minutes and they can see the colors and that and it's in their mind's eye Mm. and it takes up the whole thing or it looks like a pinpoint or a lava lamp but it's the color And you see the blackness and you can see your hand in front of your eye. But these are actual colors that you're going to see because they're being downloaded into you to upgrade your body. And I'm not the only one that can do this. I'm not anything special. I mean, I guess I kind of am, but but I'm not. Mm -hmm. Because I've just learned these ancient secrets, I guess, Mm -hmm. from my other lifetimes. And now they're rising up in this lifetime and I'm able to use them. And that's a beautiful gift. I'm so thankful for it. And I just want to give it to everyone and share it with everyone so that they can feel this too. Because it's an amazing feeling. It's not an ego booster. It's not, oh, I can do this. Or I'm so proud that I can do that. I mean, of course, you're human. You feel that way. But it's more unconditional love Mm -hmm. is what I'm giving to people when I do it. Mm -hmm. Very good. Is there anything else or are we complete for today? We diverted off of a 
main path that we were following before yeah. when she wanted to talk about the morphogenic field. Mm -hmm. Do you remember what that other path was? It was about the ascension. Oh, yeah, we've kind of gone over that pretty mm -hmm. much. But, but people need to know that by the end of this year, we will have devices that will charge things using zero point energy. Mm -hmm. Corporations have already been allowed to have this information and they're building it now. I'm thinking by the end of this year, Diane is thinking by the end of this year, we will have it. It could be 2020 represents perfect vision. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know if that represents perfect vision for all of humanity or if that's something that resonates with Diane. I'm not sure yet, but 2020 is going to be a very enlightening year for everyone because it's going to be at the end of 2019 when the products are going to be able to be mass produced. Mm -hmm. And then in 2020, it's like when cell phones were expensive and only rich people had them and now everybody has one. Mm -hmm. That's how this unit will be. It will be for it, a lot of money. And then, and oh, and there will be donations of them out to places where people need help with electricity and water. And that it's not meant for us to go camping with, glamping. It, it's meant for third world countries that yeah. need it. Yeah. They will have it. Rich people will have it. Wonderful. It's kind of like solar panels. Yes. It's just like that. Mm -hmm. Same but on thing. A, on, a, on a much smaller scale. Exactly. <clears throat> yes. Oh, great. Okay. Yes. Will we be seeing Diane again? Yes. Very good. Very good. Are you okay with that? I'm okay. Okay. Did we accomplish everything we needed to accomplish for her today? There's so much more she could share. All right. We can However, do that. However, it depends on your timing mm -hmm. and and how much needs to be divulged. Because, again, it's spoonfuls. Yes. And if she gives too many spoonfuls, it will confuse people right. and it will um, alarm them. So we will meet again so that she can divulge more information. Is that okay? That would be beautiful. Wonderful. Five wide awake, completely alert, feeling wonderful. I can go them. move furniture now <laughs> and not fall. <laughs> oh, Alva, what did you think? <laughs> you know, I forget stuff. Pretty good, huh? That was awesome. I knew it was going to be awesome. A lot more huh? than you expected? <laughs> yeah. Or was it pretty good? Yeah, it was more. I, I knew that I was going to see you again. I just knew it. And then I knew more would come out yeah. that I could help humanity with than just help me, mm -hmm. you know, little me. You know, I want to be helped, but I want to be able, because being a nurse and a mommy, I, I want to help everybody. Yeah. And I think that it is good. what it did. How does your body feel? I, I feel amazing. I'm in no pain. Even my knee, because of your knee. <laughs> <laughs> you know? My knee is bending a lot better now. Good. Yeah. God, I'm so glad. You should have asked them to do it. They could have probably done more. That's awesome. All I have to do is ask. I, seriously, yeah. that's all you have to do is ask and yeah. put it out there. Oh, that's why you're here. So they can receive it and send it back. <laughs> I know. It's crazy. I so is it. it something you want to share? It? Of course. Yeah. Of course, yes. The soul ambassador. Wow, Diane. <sighs> that was amazing. It was really it nice. was amazing. How long do you think this was? Just guess. Yeah, I always would say like an hour and a half, but I really think it was probably longer because mm -hmm. there was a lot. I don't think I stopped talking. No, it was over two hours. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> I <laughs> hope it's good stuff. And we all kind of endured all this. There was so much stuff wow. there. Yeah. So much stuff. How do you feel? I feel like a million dollars. Like I could go run a marathon right now. <laughs> Yeah, I don't feel tired at all or anything. And I remember some of it. Yeah. And I know I have to watch it back to, to really mm -hmm. understand yeah. it. But I hope it helps a lot of people and they get something from it because that's what I want to do. I just want to help others mm -hmm. and heal them and teach them how to cut cords and, and get away from the big machine. So you are channeling all the time now. Yeah. Yeah. So how can you help other people who need assistance? I can channel their loved ones. Mm -hmm. I can channel their guides, their angels, um, alive people, dead people. It 
we're all vibration. Mm. Everything's a vibration, and I just tap into the vibration, and then I'm able to help you with it or give you peace of mind or soothe mm-hmm. your soul, you know, from missing someone yeah. that's crossed over because they're still alive, mm-hmm. just in a different form. Yeah. Because these are just containers. And you said you also do car- readings, yes, card readings. I can do readings. You do Reiki. Reiki. I'm a Reiki master. I teach Reiki. I can do tarot cards. I can do readings without cards and just pull information from the zero point or Yeah, source. the ethers, yeah. right? Yeah. And you said you also like to teach children. Oh, yes. I have a lot of kids. Uh, a lot. It's funny. It's a lot of 20-year-olds and then a lot of... Uh, elementary school kids up to high school and it's that age bracket that generation yeah. that really absorbs what i'm saying and, and you were telling me before that you, you were teaching them how to bend spoons and things like that yeah I, I can teach people how to bend spoons um it's not a party trick i i mean it can be and it can be a joke and stuff but i can teach you how to really do a real spoon like a real piece of metal and, um, and it's not flimsy <laughs> and it's just moving molecules and we can do that. And people don't tell us we can do that. Mm-hmm. Um, gurus and yogis and Buddhas and all those masters, they know about this knowledge because it was taught to them. Yeah. We're not taught this knowledge. Mm-hmm. So either we stumble upon it or we've lived it in a past life and it erupts in this life. It starts coming in. And then we're able to teach others so that they know it's for real and it's not what the governments have all taught us to do. Mm -hmm. So if someone wants to get a hold of you, Uh, how how do they get a hold of you? Easy. Octurianhealer.com. There you go. So if you want to get a hold of Diane, uh, just connect with her and see how she can help you. And that'll be kind of cool. Thank you. So we had another hypnosis session before this. What was the number of that one? Do you remember? 268. 268. So if you want to look up her last uh, hypnosis session, and a lot of people are going to say, well, how'd she get another session? (laughs) Manifested. (laughs) I told her at the last session before I left, I'll be seeing you again. And then one morning I woke up wasn't thinking about anything and opened my phone and I'd just gotten an email and I opened it and it was the calendar wanting me to book an appointment and I'm like, oh my. So I rushed through and I jumped out of bed and ran and got my credit card and I'm trying to put it all in and I got it. And I didn't think I would. In fact, it, it erased from my phone and then I had to press the, the back button to bring everything back up again and then I opened it and then I was able to finish paying and and I, by then I thought I lost that a slot because somebody else, because it is, it's a race. It's like a game and you have to beat the other people yeah. from getting their credit card in. And once you get that in, you're gold. So, yeah. Except yeah. we changed you about five times. So that's, yeah. we were supposed to be here. Um, in Miami first. In Miami first. But well, wherever we have the session is where you're supposed to be. Yeah. Oh, right. Exactly. Because you know? so, it started out in Miami and then three or four times here in Tampa. We switched you around yeah. for different reasons. Yeah, there were good reasons. And then today I got an email two nights ago and I thought I saw the word cancellation on it. And I'm like, this is, this is a cancellation, not a reschedule. And I'm like, I got canceled after all that. And, and then it turned out she had to write me back and I'm like, why? And then she wrote me back and says, it's not canceled. You're fine. And I'm like, okay, universe, quit playing with me. So if you want a session with me, you need to sign up for my newsletter. Go to my website, albawyman.com, and sign up for the newsletter. It comes out about once a month, and uh, if there's a session there, you will find it. So um, just be patient, set out your intentions, and hopefully I'll get to see you at one of my sessions. Or... Also, you can go to one of my events. I'm doing doing gatherings all around the world, and this is to get like-minded people, all of these folks who are also on a spiritual path, in a room together so that you can mix with their energy and get to know each other and have a, have a support system for yourself. So go to my events page and see where I'm going to be, and hopefully I'll get to meet you there soon. Okay? Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh.